know. I didn't, you know, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's, uh, do you want us to hold this or we got here? You're good. No, no, you're good. Um, question is, with, with Cleveland this season, uh, what what can we expect out of Cleveland this season? What can we expect from the character? Is there anything, are they pushing anything with him this season? Um, and can you answer that in Cleveland's voice? <laughs> well, uh, I play Cleveland. And uh, I can tell you on season 16, is that what we're airing now? 16 or yeah. we're airing 17? I think we're working on 17. We're making 17. Um, not much. Same old shit. Just watch it. It's funny. <laughs> Actually, we're not pushing the agenda. You know, there's nothing, nothing too crazy. There's some stuff with the guys in a few episodes. There's a Herbert. Uh, Herbert falls in love with Peter, and uh, so he's torn between two lovers, between Peter and Chris, and he sings about it. And uh, you know, we got you know other episodes, a Trump episode. I'm sure you've heard about. Or, you know. There we go. But it's fun having Cleveland back on the show. Just as like. You know, just another geared. You know, because when Cleveland left to do his own thing, you know, the, the group of guys just didn't have that same yeah. gelling. Yeah. Right. So it's it's just nice that like all the cylinders in any situation can work better. I mean, that's that's the fun of the show. is just throw these you know throw these characters at any anything, and you'll laugh because they interpret every way they navigate. When he came yeah. back, he got an invasive body. Oh What's yeah. That? You <laughs> got attacked. From, remember, just was relentless about like. Oh, we're okay, having yeah. to come back from the Cleveland show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got yeah. You, got you. Um, almost as bad as Fox when the show came back. Yes. Oh. Right. That is one of my favorite all-time gags. <laughs> the end of that episode, listening to all the shows have failed? Uh, so great, because you had just seen the promos. Or, you know, trying to force feed all of it. Just done. That's also one of the things that's hard about writing the show, is that we do TV gags. Like, we now return to Clean Field, is my voice that I do. But, uh, yes. <laughs> but, uh, like, you'll say, oh, Ozark, we'll do it. We'll make fun of that. Like, is it gonna? Okay, so they're doing another season. Okay, so this joke right. in a year will keep that one. In. Yeah, because you never know. Like shows that are hit, you know, in September might be off the schedule. And we do. It takes a year for us to animate. So you want you're creating this? You're making fun of something nobody knows. I got one for you. And I, I definitely wanted to ask this one. And yeah, please answer this in Cleveland's voice. Um, what, especially with everything that's going on with Kanye right now? What would Cleveland Brown say to Kenny West now? <laughs> oh, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Come on now, just maybe go sit on a boat in a lake somewhere for just a few minutes and reflect. <laughs> Find out what's deep inside, Kenny. It's all a bit right. It was cool when we were doing the Cleveland show because one day I was walking down the hall and I heard this rapping going on, and I walked in, it was almost like an ESPN commercial. There were like four writers sitting on their couch, and Kanye is like just dropping <laughs> some stuff on them, like some new stuff, some new rap, and he was just trying something out. And uh, so it was, that was kind of cool. And I got it. Kanye was always totally cool. Whenever, whenever he came, he was always he was game. He was game. He was, you know, he was there on time. He was there pitching jokes. He was, you know, he's exactly what you would want. You know, my experience with him has been great. Last question. Uh, so after doing the show for so long, do you guys ever get a script and are ever surprised by anything in the script at this point? I think always. Yeah, I mean, you know, specific jokes. You know, I think the show wouldn't still be sharp and fresh if it didn't. So there's always specific jokes or a take on some situation that, that is surprising. So yeah. The world, the world keeps turning, the room's going to keep making fun. And then there's sometimes where, you know, you read the script, and, you know, because everybody, they, we all work in different rooms sometimes, and you don't see the whole thing, or, or, or you're off and running your own script, and then you come back in, and, like, I'll, I'll always be at the table read, and it'll be something that makes me laugh genuinely, yeah. and, you're, and you're just like, I like it here. <laughs> it's like, exactly. it's, it makes me feel good. Yeah, it makes me feel good. I'm like, oh, this is, this is funny. I enjoy what we're doing. You know, it's, I mean, the worst thing in the world is to go to work in any job and not love what you do, and so it's like, we, we have the good fortune Jeffrey, of laughing Jeffrey, Jeffrey, the jokes are still funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. I do, I, uh, I just, oh, no. I thought he needed, oh, no, no, Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, I love the, the line that, I can't remember the picture, but uh, in the episode the other day where, we just waited for Jeffrey's mother to die, until, until they can get married. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun, like, because I, I just became this offshoot of Jeffrey for Bruce, 
but it like it somehow always escalates right. <laughs> higher and higher. I never, I never. Yeah, we gotta do that. We gotta ladder it up. Dogs barking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. So thank much. you.